The footage that you're about to see shows the standard treatment of animals in the fur industry. It's sad, shocking and disturbing, and it shows some of the worst abuses to animals that you can imagine. I hope that after watching it, you will shun fur, including fur trim, forever. I'm Natalie Imbruglia for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Every year, millions of animals, including foxes, raccoons, rabbits, baby seals, and even dogs and cats are killed for the fur industry. There is no kind way to rip the skin off animals' backs. In the wild, animals are caught in snares and steel jaw traps that slam down on their limbs. They often cut down to the bone and mutilate animals' legs and paws. Although steel jaw traps are illegal in few parts of the world, they are still permitted in almost all fur producing countries. Many animals, especially mothers desperate to return to their young, attempt to chew or twist off their trapped limbs. Animals who can't free themselves often languish in traps for days and suffer from exhaustion, exposure, frostbite, dehydration and shock. For animals who don't die from blood loss, infection or gangrene, further torture awaits them when the trapper returns. Animals caught in conner bear traps, cruel body gripping devices that crush animals' necks, take three to eight minutes to suffocate to death. Victims of water set traps, including beavers and muskrats, can take up to 20 agonizing minutes to drown. Fur farms are no better. In some countries, no laws protect animals on fur farms. And in countries that do have laws, the laws are weak and difficult to enforce. Animals spend their entire lives in cramped, filthy cages, often with no protection from the driving rain or the scorching sun. Diseases and injuries are widespread, and animals are denied adequate food, water, shelter, and veterinary care. Deprived of everything that is natural and important to them, animals suffer from relentless boredom and intense confinement. Many go insane and develop self-destructive behaviours, like chewing on their own limbs and repeatedly throwing themselves against the bars of their cages. Others huddle helplessly at the back of their cages, paralysed with fear. Fur farmers use the cheapest and cruelest killing methods available, including neck breaking, genital and anal electrocution, suffocation, poisoning and gassing. Animals who are electrocuted convulse, shake and cry out in excruciating pain as they die of a heart attack. Many of these crude methods only stun the animals who then wake up while they're being skinned. During a recent undercover investigation of fur farms in China, the world's leading fur exporter, workers were caught swinging raccoon dogs and foxes by their hind legs and slamming them headfirst against the ground, injuring them, but often leaving them completely conscious as they were skinned alive. Animals kicked and writhed as their skin was ripped off their bodies. When the fur was finally peeled off, the animals' bloody bodies were tossed into a pile as though they were trash. Some remained alive for up to 10 minutes after they'd been skinned. Other animals killed in the Chinese fur trade may have once been someone's loving companion. Every year, millions of dogs and cats, some still wearing their collars, are stolen to be bludgeoned, hanged, bled to death, or strangled with wire nooses so that their fur can be turned into coats, trim, and trinkets. Since cats and dogs fur is often deliberately mislabeled to be sold to unsuspecting customers, it's impossible to know whose skin you're really wearing if you choose to flaunt fur. From dogs and cats to baby seals, no animals are spared in the hideous fur industry. Every year in Canada's annual seal hunt, the largest slaughter of marine mammals on the planet, hundreds of thousands of baby seals are beaten to death for their fur. Most of the seals killed are three months old or younger. Many are still nursing and have not yet learned how to swim. Hopeless to escape, seal pups are bashed over the head repeatedly with spiked clubs. 
anyone who wears any fur shares the blame for the torture and gruesome deaths of millions of animals each year. But being heartbroken is not enough. This cruelty will only end when consumers like you speak out and refuse to buy or wear any fur. Saving animals is as simple as choosing synthetic alternatives instead of real fur. Attractive, animal-friendly clothing is widely available in every price range. With so many fashionable, comfortable options available today, there's no excuse for wearing any fur. For ideas about how you can help and to get a list of retailers that sell cruelty-free clothing, please visit peter.org.uk. Thank you.